The emergence of Olumide Akwata as the 30th president-elect of the Nigeria Bar Association MBA is both revolutionary and a protest heralding a new dawn that is filled with hopes and expectation. It's a paradigm shift in every material particular. Joining us is Makoli Ugumadu, the immediate past president, CDHR. He joins us live. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, I'm delighted to be with you. My name is Malaki, Malaki Ugumadu. Oh, Malaki, apologies. All right, what do you think should be the agenda for the new NBA president? Well, before the agenda is to seize this opportunity which you have offered me to congratulate the Nigerian Bar Association and then uh, the incoming president, uh, Olumide Apata. Um, the words you use are exactly mine. The, what we have experienced in the last uh, couple of days in the Nigerian Bar Association is both revolutionary and a protest statement. Uh, revolutionary in the sense that there have been a pattern uh, in the close to 60 years of the existence of the Nigerian Bar Association where we have, except for the period where Allah Aka Basharun, late Allah Aka Basharun, emerged as the president, we've always had uh, legal practitioners in the inner bar, that is, uh, those with the rank of the senior advocates uh, presiding over the affairs. Um, to the extent that there was this radical shift, a paradigm shift, uh, that heralded this kind of um, hope and um, expectation and enthusiasm. To that extent, we saw it as uh, a revolutionary uh, movement that resulted in the emergence of uh, a profoundly barman, one that has uh, approximately 30 years uh, post-call practice. Uh, he is not a senior advocate of Nigeria. He is actually a bridge between the inner and upper bar to the extent that uh, everyone can relate with him. Mm -hmm. He is proficiently successful in his own areas of practice where he has uh, uh, acquitted himself, so to speak. What would be the agenda, sir, Mr. Ogumadu? What would be the agenda Correct. for the new NBA Correct. president? Correct. Correct. The first, the first is to be able to reinvent the Nigerian Bar Association as uh, a bulwark for democracy anchored on the rule of law and the respect of court judgments and orders, pursuant to Section 287 of the Constitution. Secondly, we expect a bar that will be visible, critical, and uh, make serious interventions in national affairs. We expect a bar that will have the capacity and the resources, human resources inclusive, spread around the country to be able to defend the fundamental rights of Nigeria, but more importantly, lawyers who have now come under siege by overzealous law enforcement agencies who have about cases of brutality against lawyers, attacks, unlawful uh, incarcerations, uh, and in very bad cases, murder, you know, uh, and so on and so forth. We expect a bar that will live up to the biddings of its uh, profession and make very deliberate efforts to be part of the legislation process in the country. Um, it is not enough to complain about the quality and content of legislation churned out in, you know, from the respective legislative houses. A bar can, as part of its uh, uh, activities, to guarantee a functional uh, legal regime, make efforts to have decks in the houses of assembly at the National Assembly and participate in the process of lawmaking. All right, let, let, let's, let's, let's look at... Um... Uh, finding me. Okay, in the interest of time, sir, um, many have complained about the abuse of the rule of law and human rights. Do you uh, think this new NB administration can work resolutely towards resolving it? Very, very clearly and simply so. The bar has more than enough capacity to bring about 
respect and obedience of court order. Imagine for a moment that the Nigerian Bar Association decides that for any disobedience of court order, the, 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 the members of the profession will show their resentment in one way or the other. Imagine boycott of courts. Imagine insistence on the compliance of uh, compliance with uh, orders of court. All of those are tools that are within the purview, within the reach of the Nigerian Bar Association to explore in a country that has clearly demonstrated very scant respect for the rule of law. Uh, the reason why this is essential and very important is that in the absence of the obedience of the court order, the business of the lawyer has come to a halt, if not inconsequential, because at the end of the day, it is a marketplace where he conducts his trade and gets judgments of court, either by way of order or decisions of court. Uh, once these judgments or orders of court are disregarded and dis disobeyed, the business of the lawyer is completely uh, a real issue of human collaboration. Indeed, the All right, uh, have, Mr. Ogumadu. Have, uh, all right. The, the, the network was all already breaking and we're actually out of time for this segment of the conversation. Thank you very much for joining us on the news and all the best with the new administration. Thank you for the opportunity.